A gray, rainy, miserable winter like day outside matches the mood of many of the fans in GM Place, even though it's sold right out tonight to watch Jose Theodore and the Colorado Avalanche, who still could finish sixth, seventh, or eighth. Up against the Vancouver Canucks and Mikan Norinen, who gets the start tonight instead of Alex Hald. And the fans are having a tough time in this building getting revved up for this game because it just doesn't mean anything to the local team. Kessler with a shot. Bertuzzi scores on the rebound. Todd Bertuzzi had scored only one goal at home in his last 14 games in this building, and he gets his 25th of the season to tie the game 1-1. It's a nice work by Burroughs behind the net. Now, Colorado, they should chase him to this backhand. They don't do it. And then some horrible defensive zone coverage afterwards as they're just standing there. I know right beside Bertuzzi. He's watching the puck. He doesn't take the stick. Bertuzzi breeze ball with his back to the play, and Bertuzzi is left wide open. And say what you want about his season. That's his 25th goal, Jim. And his 71st point, and there are only 45 players in all of the National Hockey League that have that many points this season. Ed Jovanovski. Tape to tape to Marcus Naslin with Morris, and he shoots, he scores! It's his 32nd goal of the season, and Vancouver leads 2-1. Now well, we've seen that shot before. This is a goal you know the Theodore would love to have back. And Ed Jovanowski, this is what they missed when he was out. That lead pass that gives Nazan the speed that he wants going over the blue line. And boy, what a great shot. How many times have we seen this shot? No backswing what's at all. Shooting in stride with a lot of velocity. And it just caught Theodore on the short side. You can see the frustration from the body language from Theodore after that goal where he was just not happy at all with the way that one went in. Miles, shots taken away by Kessler. Paul Gunner trying to take away Sackage. There's a tip right on. Great save by Norton and on Blake. And he smothers the puck. And the fans are liking what they see from Mika Norton in his first start at GM place. Well, I like what I see as well because of his positional play. Now, this one did squeak through. What's Brian Allen? What a terrific job to get the puck back out of harm's way right on the stick of Matias Hull, which is a bit of a break. Watch Norton's positioning here. Perfect. And the butterfly, and then that right pad comes out, and then he finds the puck through traffic to eliminate any other rebound against him. Nolan Baumgartner's outlet. High note couldn't knock it down. Here's Henrik Sedin with Daniel Nansen Carter. Todd Bertuzzi comes off the bench as the extra attack. And Carter scores! Nansen Carter's 33rd goal of the season ties this game 3-3. Well, the three best forwards for the Vancouver Canucks all season long in a league goal here in their last game of the season. Good work by the City Twins to gain puck possession and then Anson Carter with that speed and quick stick is able to wrap it around before Jose Theodore gets back to the post. But that's all the City Twins. They've been doing it all season long. Their strong puck possession, their good puck pursuit. One of them again with a couple of assists. And of course, Anson Carter reaps the benefits of the Twins working hard with that wraparound attempt. Vancouver's nominee for the Masterton Trophy for Perseverance. Sportsmanship, dedication to the game. Anson Carter has his 33rd. Patrice Guisebois backs up in the last 10 seconds of the third period. And the Avalanche will get their point. And the Vancouver fans get to watch a little more. This game will go to sudden death overtime. Tied after the third period. 3-3 thanks to Anson Carter's 33rd. General Motors place in Vancouver is sold out tonight for the 127th consecutive game. There's 4,000 people on a waiting list in this city for season tickets. And at the end of a game that means nothing to their team, they've stayed and they're cheering. And their Vancouver Canucks are going to overtime against the Colorado Avalanche, a team that is now assured of at least seventh spot. And it is a shame these fans don't to participate in the playoffs because one thing is for sure they are terrific fans here in Vancouver. Back to 
the puck. Matias Ola. Heading for the net is Ryan Kessler. Ola's checked by Skrastis. The puck comes to Morris and he shoots his goal. Season is over, and wouldn't you know it, the goal scorers for Vancouver tonight include Bertuzzi, Naslin, and Morrison. Once the best line in the league, will they be together ever again? Well, for the Vancouver Canucks, it was quite a season, a very disappointing year for all of them, but at least they can hang their hat on the fact that they won the last game of the year, although it wasn't the one they wanted to win. And the Colorado Avalanche are playoff bound with the single point they get. They're guaranteed of at least a seventh place finish. Trevor Linden has played a thousand and one games in a Vancouver uniform. Will there be another next season? That's one of the many questions that needs to be answered in what will be a long, long off season. Matias Olin stripped of the puck by Sprastis. Morrison leans into a rolling puck and the slap shot beats Theodore. And for Brendan Morrison, his 19th goal of the season gives the Vancouver Canucks a 4-3 win on a night when they can celebrate a victory but can't prepare for the Stanley Cup playoffs. So the season comes to an end in Vancouver and the fans stay on. There'll be a special sweater off your back promotion where all of the Canucks will give up their sweaters to a lucky fan in the building. And these fans won't be lucky enough to see the Stanley Cup playoffs, but you'll see it all on Hockey Night in Canada.